Well, the first one works really well. Like I've I've had I have an like Ultimaker at work, and so and as like a personal one, when I was running a work one, my personal one from the Snapmaker actually ran better than the Ultimaker one, which was kind of crazy. Um, but it's. It's been quick to get stuff done. It hasn't really failed on any of like my parts. I think for anything, like once you get past the the alignment, like actually getting because a lot of a lot of them fail in the beginning, and then you're like, okay, once you actually get it aligned correctly, which I know you guys have it automatically done in this next model, like almost every print came out pretty good. So like I actually printed out this like light suit for her, and so like I built all the pieces using the Snapmaker one. Um, and so, and yeah, I, I've just had such good luck with like everything that it's done and I've been able to build everything I've wanted. So I went with the larger model on the next run because I'd say the big thing for me was the size that I found out that I wanted to make bigger parts. And so now that you guys have a bigger one, it's like definitely going to do it. Well, I was following you guys uh, through Snapmaker 1, and the reviews looked very nice, but I had a 3D maker at the time, and it was just too small, so I decided to back you guys on the second one because you guys have different sizes, and it's potentially expandable, so I'm pretty excited for when that comes out. pretty expensive they cover a lot so I'm just looking for maybe when you guys do live demo videos um, but until then I'm pretty excited to when you guys ship it out but I really wanted a laser and a 3D printer. But laser nowadays are just very expensive. They're, for a home one, they're about $3,000. And I don't really want to show up for something that I won't use all the time. So this is a very good home size that you can pack away, bring out, and do for small things. So yeah, seems pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for making Thank you. Can't wait. Laser cutter and CNC. Yeah. At the moment, I'm not really interested in the 3D printing, just the CNC and the laser cutting. Okay. And uh, it seems like this one has a really good feature for the configurability and the precision. Right. Okay. Thank you. 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 I tried some other systems and had issues getting them aligned. And it seems like your system is sort of self-aligning, so I don't have to spend all that time tweaking the bed and things like that to try and, okay, you know, loosen this screw and adjust it slightly and tighten it back up and I'll do another test cut. No, it still doesn't work, but it's okay, realign it again. And uh, this is, looks like I can, you know, put in the initial screws, run some initial tests on it, and then be able to do the rest of it. And I'll have to do that every single time I turn it on. So, that's a really good advantage. Thank you. Oh, and then he's going to click, click, and then everything pops up. Perfect. This is for the medium one. Yeah. Not even the big one. So yeah. That's the medium one. That's the medium one. Wow. How big is the big one? 320, 320, 350. Wow. What? Yes, yes, yes. A lot, a lot. Yep. I would love to give this a shot. Okay. I would love to, what I would love to do with this is to take it and use 3D printing and the laser and the CNC and do a project that could, that could use all three. Like carving out of a bowl and lasering the bowl or, or 3D printing the handles or like the, um, or the, the rack it would go on or the, or the, the, uh, 
what is it, the plate holder that you put it on to display it? Or, yeah, something like that. I think I think there's a lot of cool stuff that we could do. Or, you know, I could make Riley uh, a really cool right. marker holder, of right. course. Like this one. Like, just like that. That's right.